former Alabama baseball coach Brad Bohannon was fired last week amid an investigation into suspicious betting activity on a Crimson Tide game against LSU. The alleged suspicious activity took place at the sports book at the Great American Ballpark Gym in Cincinnati. See, that seems a little weird to me, but betting on LSU to win does not because LSU is number one in the nation right now in college baseball. Two things could have happened. Let's say the sports book is you don't have to be inside the stadium. It's got an, a door on the outside, and that's where people bet in Cincinnati, which makes a little bit more sense than like where my brain first went, which was like, I'm watching the Reds suck, and then I go make a bet. I'm in Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. I get the inside information that their starting pitcher had scratched. At what point do I say, you know what I'm going to do? Drop six figures. That. That doesn't jive. What exactly was the bet? Was it just straight money line LSU to win? Right. Well, I still would project LSU to win any of that. Alabama replacement was a sophomore who hadn't started since March 16th. So it was about. Yeah, that's the fishy part to me. But now with this picture, you're like, oh, no, they're going to get their asses kicked. And the question becomes, who leaked the info? According to NOLA.com, the suspicious activity concerns two bet parlay involving Alabama, LSU, and a money line bet on LSU to win. LSU, the best team in the country, was listed as a, at a minus 270 money line favorite before the game. So you were saying the odds never changed? Yeah. And basically it's saying like it still wasn't very suspicious. Obviously something was. It's being investigated very heavily. This coach got fired. No, at the time of the bet, like there was nothing that says on it on surface alone that was suspicious. Or maybe the dollar amount. Six figure, figure bet on a college baseball game in the middle of the week. Probably going to raise some red flags. But if it's a one-off bet, that kind of looks suspicious. Funny that Ohio, the babies in betting, have their first scandal. 